Why are people saying Chelsea's not going to make the top six? We're coming for Europa League football. I know we're 11, but we're only eight points off and we have a game in hand. I'm confident we'll reach the top six with the games we've got coming up. Newcastle. We already slapped them around in the Carabao Cup. We became their daddy. That's an easy three points. Arsenal. We're their daddy as well. They might be above us right now, but they look up to us. We're the only team in London to win the Champions League. That's another three points. Burnley and Sheffield. Two championship clubs. They won't be able to deal with sores like Cole Palmer, and Kunku, Caicedo, Enzo, Mudrick. Give us the six points already. And then Manchester United, the biggest banter club in the country. That's the game where we overtake them in the table. That's 15 points. We'll be in the top six in no time. Europa League, here we come. I can't believe it. I'm hearing people saying Real Madrid is going to win the Champions League. Are you guys Delulu? Have you guys lost the plot? Barcelona, Visca Barca, we're winning the Champions League. This is our year. Real Madrid's time at the top of the Champions League is over. And we, Barcelona, are here to take it over. Real Madrid are finished. Bellingham's a fraud. Vinicius is a fraud. Don Carlo is a dinosaur. And I don't think they'll even get past Leipzig. Real Madrid will be knocked out of the Champions League tomorrow. Visca Barca, it's our time. Leipzig, you are absolutely useless. You had the win in one hand and you threw it away. You bottle jobs. All those chances and you missed. Brain dead team. Now we have to see Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. But you know what? I'm not worried. Real Madrid showed why they have no chance of winning this Champions League. They could barely beat Leipzig. If they can barely beat them, they have no chance going through the quarterfinals. Next week, we are. Barcelona, Visca Barca will show you how it's done Real Madrid by penetrating Napoli on our conquest to win in the Champions League. It's our time. This title race is so rubbish. No one cares about any of these teams. They're all lucky that Chelsea are no longer in their prime because if we were, we would walk this title race. They would have nothing on us. Can you imagine Jose Mourinho's Chelsea against these three teams? They're all dusty. Arsenal are a national laughing stock. And even they're in this title race. It can't be that special, can it? It's been 20 years since they last won the league. This was meant to be the biggest game of the season. And it ended in a draw. What a boring title race. Chelsea in their prime would penetrate both these teams. They even beat this Man City team in the Champions League final. They ain't that special. Premier League misses us. People are starting to shit their brain cells out their ass. I'm hearing people say Newcastle are going to beat Chelsea. I'm so confident that every single one of you are wrong that if Chelsea lose, I will do the super hot sauce challenge. Not just one, not just two, three shots of super hot sauce. That's how confident I am that Newcastle are going to be taking blows. I know I lost the last two challenges, but Chelsea dominated both those games and deserved to win. And against Newcastle, we will make it right and win. Why are people saying Chelsea's going to lose to Newcastle? Is the whole football world brain dead? Man City couldn't even beat us this season. But you think Newcastle's going to beat us? Who even is that? Newcastle are a nothing club and Chelsea look down upon them. They are nothing compared to us. We are football royalty with Champions Leagues in the bag. As a football team, they're basically peasants compared to Chelsea. I don't even think they've won a trophy in my granddad's lifetime. That is embarrassing. Who do we have to be afraid of? Gordon, Isaac, our future superstars like Mudrik, Caicedo and Enzo, Cole Palmer will show them levels tomorrow. Newcastle, be ready because you're getting humbled. Where's all the people that said Chelsea are finished? Where's all the people that said Chelsea are banter club? We just gave Newcastle a new backside and left it wide open. Top six, here we come. Player ratings from that world class performance. Chelsea are back and we just gave it to Newcastle dirty. Anyone that wants some, you can get it, you can get it. Arsenal, Liverpool, Man City, we're not scared of no one. I'm going to start with a negative. Raheem Sterling, leave my club. I am going to make dua that you leave Chelsea this summer and go to Saudi Arabia. Okay, it is the best for everybody. You will make a lot of money and can do a lot of good. And Chelsea will be better off because we will no longer have the worst ever player that's played for our football club.
All you had to do was sweaty goal it to Cole Palmer. But no, you try and score on your own and you miss. Are you tapped? Are you a piss head? Oh no, but it's okay. I'm Raheem Sterling and I run like this and I make 300k a week. Get out my club. Minus 10,000. Cucurella. The little fucking poodle is back, man. He's so trash. Is he brain dead? He nearly cost us the game. He nearly put us under pressure in the last 10 minutes. Got sent to Asta by Murphy. Minus 10,000. You also need to leave my club. And now on to a real proper baller. His name is Cold Palmer. That's how it's done. Reem Sterling, take notes. It's time you start putting this boy in the conversation with your Bellinghams, Musialas, Foldens, Sackers. He's that level. He should be starting for England. World class. He's doing it game after game. 10 out of 10. Conor Gallagher. He runs so much. He doesn't stop running. I don't know how he does it. Those those Lucas A lungs are absolutely incredible. He ran so much and he won that ball so much. I'm so proud of him. Conor Gallagher's an 8 out of 10. He was sensational today. Kylo Mudrick. Again, Raheem Sterling, take notes. A proper baller. A proper footballer. Did you see that skill? Did you see that goal? I'm telling you, 9 out of 10. But you show today that you got it. That was a performance. You shut up the haters today. And did you see that skill? Whew. Martinelli could never. Nicholas Jackson, what a performance. I apologise. I apologise for saying you're a dusty baller. I apologise for saying you're a fraud. I apologise for saying we signed you probably fresh from the village because you show today that you have got it, my friend. What a performance. You showed levels. Show that you're clear of Gabriel Jesus. 9 out of 10. Caicedo and Enzo locking up the midfield. 200 million pound flops. What? 200 million pound flops where? I was hearing Declan Rice midfield signing of the season. No, Caicedo and Enzo have way more and they're clear of that bomb. Declan, Dem De Declan Bum Rice. And they, they both get nines. Rival fans cry. Two of the top five right backs in the world play for Chelsea. Malo Gusto, take a bow, ladies and gentlemen. Nine out of ten. Sassi and Chalaba were, were solid. I'll give them both sevens. Petrovic, poor distribution, but you are a really good traditional goalkeeper. I'll give you an eight. Chelsea are back. Real Madrid, that's how it's done. Whilst you're out here struggling to get past a mid-team, RB Leipzig, we, Barcelona, Visca Barca, are out here destroying the champions of Italy, Napoli. I said we were going to penetrate Napoli. I said we were going to win the Champions League. And you all said I was crazy. Well, call me crazy now. But you know what? Give us Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. Or give us Bayern Munich. I want all the smoke. Visca Barcelona. We're winning the Champions League. Why am I seeing Liverpool fans get excited for beating some random farmers 6-1? This is just a consolation for you. Like the rest of your season. You will not see Liverpool win another trophy this season. They ain't winning the Premier League, Man City's winning that. And they ain't winning the Europa League, because Leverkusen's winning that. And they will not win the FA Cup, because Chelsea is winning that. Enjoy your little plastic Parabell Cup, because that's the last trophy you'll see Jurgen Klopp win. Liverpool's basically already finished, because Jurgen Klopp's leaving at the end of the season. And without him, they are nothing. Champions League draw. I mean, let's be honest, we all knew that we... Barcelona, Visca Barca, was going to be winning the Champions League. But now you've gone and made it even easier. PSG, we're their daddy. Are you forgetting the 6-1 comeback? They're literally our dogs. You think we're scared of Mbappe? We've got Araujo. He'll put him in his pocket. He'll make him his dog like he does to Vinny. Lamine Yamal, the best youngster on the planet, is going to cook them. And then Atletico or Dortmund in the semi-final. Don't make me start laughing. Barcelona are definitely going to be in the Champions League final and we're winning it all. Visca Barca. Why are Arsenal fans getting quirky because they're in the Champions League quarterfinals? You barely beat Porto and you're getting a semi. I know Arsenal fans have a reputation for being a bit thick, but do you really think you're going to win the Champions League when you barely beat Porto? They're rubbish. Imagine when you play teams like Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Man City, PSG, even Inter Milan. You'll get infiltrated. I remember when Chelsea won the Champions League. We destroyed Porto. They were nothing for us. And Arsenal were struggling to beat them, having to win on penalties. This is another reminder why London is blue. Why are people saying Chelsea's a banter club? I understand we're 11th in the table. As you can see, 
we have a game in hand. And if we win that, we go to eighth. And only five points behind Manchester United. That's like two wins. We're easily gonna go above them and into the top six. Have you not seen how we've been playing? We've been world class. We absolutely obliterated Newcastle. We made them look like a relegation team. Don't let the scoreline deceive you. They were lucky to get two goals. Tomorrow, we will show why we're winning the FA Cup by penetrating Leicester. And I am so confident that Chelsea will do that to Leicester, that if we lose, I will do the three shot super hot sauce challenge. That's how confident I am. Chelsea is not a banter club. <laughs> Oi, o Neymar não serve pra namorar. O mano pombo não serve pra namorar. E nem se julga, não serve pra namorar. Why are people saying England's gonna lose to Brazil? Are you guys lacking brain cells? Brazil are finished in football. They went from ballers like Ronaldinho, R9, Neymar, Kaká, to crusty players like Anthony, Rafinha, Richarlison, Martinelli. They fell off. I see zero favela skill moves or DNA in any of their team. In fact, I see more favela DNA and skill in the England team. We're in our prime generation. We've got ballers like Cole Palmer, Foden, Bellingham, Harry Kane. I'm so confident that if England don't win, I'll do the three shot super hot sauce challenge. Who are we going to worry about? Vinicius Junior, Kyle Walker will pocket him and make him his dog. Brazil, be ready. Because you're getting penetrated. The whole life I've loved this country, and you don't know the things I would do to fight for this flag on the football pitch. But these players don't give a fuck. Get rid of every single one of them, and the dusty manager as well. It's a disgrace. Player ratings from the absolute shit show, the absolute disgrace of Brazil 1, England 0. Apart from Jude Bellingham, there is not a single player that can leave with their head held high tonight. Not one of you fought for that beautiful St. George's flag. You're all a disgrace. And now we got dunked on and danced on by the Brazilians. They're doing bailar up in London. They let a 17 year old Endrick come and dance at Wembley. Then none of you have no shame. I'm going to start with Phil Foden. This man is a fraud. This man got the gazza trim and we all got gassed. He ain't no Gaza, he's trash. Every time he wears the England shirt, he's a passenger. I don't want to see him start again. At the Euros, Cold Palmer better be starting. Because Cold Palmer is clear. Foden, you are an absolute disgrace tonight. You get a minus 10,000. Gordon, who even is that? He is absolutely trash. Where was Mr. MBE Marcus Rashford? You know how many kids he has fed in this country and our dusty manager can't even pay him back with a start on the pitch. He has done so much for our country and community and he is a tremendous footballer. But somehow he's on the bench. Reason 1000 to sack Gareth Southgate. We went from Gerard Lampard, Skulls to Anthony Gordon. We have fell off. Minus 10,000. Where was Harry Kane tonight? That man has done a tremendous service for our country and always fought for the flag on the football pitch. He is a quality footballer and never done us any wrong. But for some reason we got scrub footballers starting up front for us like Ollie Watkins against Brazil. He should never play again. Horrible player. Another minus 10,000. Conor Gallagher. I have to watch him every week for my club. And now I have to watch him for my country as well. He's trash and I can't get away from him. All he does is runs. No quality on the ball. No technicality. He gets a zero. Declan Bumrice. I told you Caicedo was clear of him. What does he do? He's just the new Jordan Henderson. He does not know how to be a regista. A la Pirlo. A la Busquets. A la Jorginho. He just looks like a basic Sunday League player. Useless today. Zero. Maguire in 2024. Where's my gamers at? This guy turns like he's on zero sensitivity. Minus 10,000. Chelsea, it's time to buy a new left back because Bumwell is finished. He gets a zero and Maguire gets a minus 10,000. Walker went off early. Can't really judge him. I'll give him a free. Stones and Pickford were all right. I'll give you guys fives. And the only man that can leave with his head held high tonight, Jude Bellingham. He gets out of eight out of 10 from me, but he needs a partner in crime. Bring Cole Palmer back in the team immediately. We're finished. The super hot sauce challenge. 
all of our players yesterday. You were a disgrace to our beautiful flag. You let us down. And now I have to go through hell because of you. <coughs> this is because we've got bums playing for us like Declan Rice, Connor Gallagher, Anthony Gordon, Ollie Watkins. All he had to do was play Cole Palmer and we would have won. I wouldn't be doing this right now. Here we go. <coughs> he just touched me. The old man just tried to grab me. Ah! Ah! Mm, she devil. She fell little bitch. She rebel. Ah! Mm. That's disgusted. That's disgusting. Come on, I got two, two more, two more, two more. Second one. <laughs> Come on, you don't know me, son. You don't know me, son. I'm a man. I'm not a boy. I'm a man. <coughs> that tastes like balls. That tastes like sweaty balls. I don't know what that shit tastes like, and I will never know what that tastes like, but I know this shit tastes worse. That's disgusting, bro. That's disgusting, bro. I'm still gonna do one more, bro. Oh my gosh. <coughs> this is a disgrace, bro. Whilst I'm doing this, Brazilians are doing. Eh, I don't know, but up in London, this is a disgrace. Number three, bro. Come on, my mother didn't raise me to be no bitch, bro. She did not raise me to be no bitch. <coughs> Why are people saying England's gonna lose to Belgium? I feel like people are being a little bit racist. They don't respect the world-class players we have. I know I said the same against Brazil, but our manager had a brain spasm and didn't play some of our world-class players, like Cole Palmer and Harry Kane. And if they played, Brazil would have been penetrated. But those mistakes won't be made tomorrow, and Belgium will feel the wrath of our frustration after losing to Brazil. Who do we have to be afraid of? Lukaku, he's a Chelsea flop. He got booted from the club after a year. And De Bruyne, he's useless if he ain't got no one to pass to. England will show tomorrow why we're gonna win the Euros. The old life I gave this country, me full support with love and taxes. And in return, they make me feel like a fucking tosser. Football's never gonna come home. We can't win anything. It's over. Player ratings from England to Belgium to that was a fucking disgrace. And every fan that's celebrating that draw, you are also a fucking disgrace and a part of the problem. How is football ever going to come home if we don't win football matches? That's two small teams we've just played. Brazil and Belgium. And we ain't win a ruddy single one. You are all a part of the problem. And we need to let these players know that that ain't good enough. How can we not beat Belgium and Brazil? We're England. We're meant to fly that beautiful St. George's flag sky high. We're meant to be number one. It's a fucking disgrace. I'm going to start with Phil Foden. It's clear that Cole Palmer is better than him. How many times does he need to put on an England shirt and stink up the gaff till you, thick shit, see that he ain't good enough? He gets a zero from me. Who the fuck is Bowen? I mean, am I meant to be watching The Only Way is Essex or an England football team that's meant to fight for the World Cup? That bloke ain't good enough either. I don't even know who that is, but he ain't good enough. And he gets a zero as well. Now, don't get me wrong. That Mino bloke, he's quality. He's going to be some player in the future. He's 18 years old and he's a baby and he should not be in the team over Conor Gallagher. Who was there to run today? Who was there to win the tackles? Who was there to eat up the grass? Nobody, because Conor Gallagher wasn't in the team. I'm going to still give Mino a seven. He's a bright player. Declan Rice, you're playing number six. DM, you know what that stands for? Defensive midfielder, not dumb-minded minge. You're a defensive midfielder, not a dribbling number 10. So why weren't you there to defend Belgium's two goals? It's absolutely astonishing. He also gets a zero from me. If Maguire playing for England wasn't bad enough, why is Lewis Dunk starting for England? Southgate, are you tapped?
minus 10,000. Nothing more I can say. I'm shocked. Jordan Pickford. He, he's in Wonderland. He's in what? He is. His head's in the cloud. He's gone. He, he's not there. He ain't in the game. Where, where was he for the two goals? Disgrace. Shambles. You also get a zero. Chill well today. You was one of our best players. And you can leave with your head held high. That is the Ben Chilwell I know. And I hope this is your return to top form. I'm going to give you a seven. Gomez and Konza all right. I'll give him sixes. Tony. That is a proper striker. Not that crusty Watkins bloke. He don't know what he's doing. I'm seeing a bit of everything. I'm seeing a bit of swag, link-up play. You get an eight from me. Jude Bellingham, once again, the star of the show. Thank you for saving us complete embarrassment by getting us a draw. You get a ten from me. Now, off I go. Football is never coming home. Can we improve Chelsea's starting eleven? Now, this is going to be very difficult because Chelsea do have many world-class players starting in goal. Okay, we'll give Edison. But in five years' time, that will be Petrovic. Because Petrovic's potential is clear of Edison's. He is the next Courtois. Okay, right back. I mean, it doesn't matter what team we get. Reese James is the best right back in the world. So no, no one. Kyle Walker don't get in. Reese James is clear. Right centre back. Who gets over Wesley Fofana? No, not Chelsea. We're doing Chelsea, Dumbo. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Who do they right centre back? Saliba. Fofana probably has more potential than Saliba, so I'm, I'm gonna keep it Fofana. Left centre back. Left centre back. Who gets over Levi Colwell? No, we're not doing Chelsea. Thick shit. Come on. I don't even know who their left centre back is. Not many people get over Colwell anyway. Left back. Come on. Come on. Aina. Nah, he ain't better than Chilwell or Cucurella. I right, CDM. 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 Rice or Caicedo? Nah, Caicedo's clear. Enzo Fernandez, the next Luka Modric. Who gets over him? Who do, who do they have? Mainu? Mainu? Nah, Enzo Fernandez is clear of that bomb. Regisa Travella, Enzo Fernandez. Come on, Cam and Kunku. Madison. Bro, and Kunku's clear. I mean, this is pointless. Not many people get into the Chelsea team. Palmer or Foden? I mean, this is pointless. This is point. This is too easy. Palmer, Palmer, any day. Left wing, Mikhailo Mudrik, future superstar. Garnacho. Mudrik's clear. Mudrik's the next Vinicius Jr. You can't be comparing bums like that to Mudrik. Striker, Nicholas Jackson. Is another player getting in? Okay, yeah, he's a, Isaac. Isaac. Isaac is him, bro. He is a baller. Let me know if I did good. Up the Chelsea, baby. Tomorrow is time. The Premier League is back. And Chelsea will be ready to go on a charge. I keep seeing people laughing at us for being 11. Are you guys brain dead? Bozos that failed their maths exams. We've got two games in hand. And if we win them, we go to seven. Right behind Manchester United. We will hunt them down. Sixth place. Burnley will be the first victim in that charge. Chelsea will do some dirty things to Burnley on that football pitch tomorrow. Now world-class players will be giving them nightmares. I'm so confident that if Chelsea don't win against Burnley, I'll do the ice bath challenge. Top six, here we come. Am I seeing things? Is there something wrong with my eyes? Because what I just saw, this team is fucking tapped. We can't even be a 10-man Burnley. Pochettino, get out right now. They are ratings from a traumatic day. The day I realised that Chelsea Football Club was no longer what it once was. And that will not change until you get this fucking waste man, dusty manager, out of the dugout right now. I've seen enough. He can't even coach a defence. He can't even coach a straight line. What on earth are they doing in training? Playing five-a-side games whilst that waste man in the dugout is budding zoo. The only thing that makes sense, because that manager's head is in the clouds, is sassy. This man is the African Maguire. He turns like a fucking truck. Despite being built like a fucking tree trunk made out of bricks, he can't even win a fucking header. I don't know where we found this guy, but wherever we did, send him back right now, because he is trash. Benoit Badiashile. This man is blessed. He's African. He's a six foot six fucking unit. Long legs, long arms, built like a brick. Yet he plays football like he has a vagina. Where was he for the goal? The corner. 
hiding in the shadows. You cost us as well. Oh, Disassi and Batty shall get a minus 10,000. Not good enough. Cucarella. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was going to praise the little fucking poodle today. This might not be his fault, but he's too small to play left back for us. Did you see our team defending that corner? It looked like we had midgets everywhere. What has happened to my club? We used to be the team of wild beasts. Everyone was scared of us. Drogba, Mikel, Kalu, Meluda. Now we got, now we got dwarfs everywhere. We can't even win headers. We can't even defend corners. He was still decent though, Cucurella, and I liked your performance today. I'm going to give you a 7 out of 10. I'm beginning to like you, and if we can get some beasts around you, you can actually be a good player for us. Jordi Petrovic. That was the most important three points of the season. We would have been in the race for top six. We're 2-1 up. And on the corner that they scored from, you decided to have a nip slip. What the fuck are you doing? It was great today. You made some great saves. And then you sold the game for us. Oh, Mark. Bro. Bro, what is my club turned to, bro? I'll give him a five. Hello, Gusto can still make some slight improvements defensively. But this boy is going to be world class, man. Reece James got some big competition. I'm going to give him an eight. Caicedo and Enzo boss the midfield. It's a shame you've got two bozos behind you that make people think you're average, even though you've bossed the game. I'm going to give you both eights. Palmer, he now has more goal contributions than Bellingham this season. Come outside, rivals. Has to start at the Euros. Gallagher, I mean, what more are we going to expect? He's just a roadhog. He's not going to do anything else, is he? But then fucking run. Madrid, Starboy, some great moments. Showed why he's the next Vinicius. Jackson, allergic to scoring. What's new? Done. And I better wake up to Pochettino being sacked. <gasps> if I te bota pa hala, o yo neima no serve pa namorar. O mano pa bo no serve pa namorar. Vinicius Junior no serve pa nam. The ice bath challenge. I'm so done with this football club and the pain it puts me through. Here you can see, we're putting it fully cold, boys. Fully cold. Oh hell no. Here we go, boys. Here we go, bro. I'm, I'm cooked, bro. I'm cooked. Chelsea Football Club is destroying me, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, that's fucking freezing, bro. I'm cooked. The top is full. Let's feel it. Oh, that's freezing. Here we go. Chelsea is finished. 